Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And in this video, we're just gonna take a quick look at how you can easily change a graphic on your MetaHuman's clothing to be a custom graphic of your own choosing. So here in MetaHuman Creator, if you choose either a t-shirt or the hoodie, you can go to the graphic tab and choose from any number of a uh, predetermined set of graphics here. And they all have two colors, that'll be important for us later. But there's no way to upload your own file. But we can actually address that in Engine after the MetaHuman is taken into Unreal Engine. So if I go over to Unreal, here is that MetaHuman in Unreal after it's been brought in through Bridge, through all your standard methods. And the t-shirt is... Uh, right in here i can just click on the t-shirt to select it and now to customize all we need to do is load in a new png to represent the graphic for the shirt so let me uh reduce the size of this window so we can see our content browser and with the shirt selected in the details panel i can go for the material element and click on the uh, browse to button so that i can browse to this material so there's the material double click on that and I've got this set to a uh, plane. You know, if you have some other shape, just make sure you can select a plane. That way you can see the graphic here. And if we scroll down in the details here, get far enough down, you'll see that there is a uh, print graphic map. So I can go ahead and use that Browse to button again. And there is the graphic. So double clicking that, I can open it up and we can see some information. So this is a, a red channel and a green channel graphic. It's a bitmap that's 1024 by 1024. So the red channel represents color one and the green channel represents color two. So back in the material, we can still go in here and change each one of those colors. So the color that the um, graphic ultimately represents on the shirt here is chosen in the material itself. And so the red and the green is just a pair of masks for selecting where in the texture those two colors are. So that's what we need to create. So what I've done here is gone over to uh, Photoshop and here is uh, the Drexel University logo. So I'll just go ahead and create a file new and I'll uh, just do a custom, in this case 1024 by 1024, create that. Um, I'll get a fresh layer with a uh, blank alpha channel get rid of this background and then uh, take this logo control a control C and then bring it over here and control V and then control T to scale it and so now we get this logo down to size to fit in this uh, 1024 area now it looks to me like this graphic is cheating a little bit high I'm not sure it's entirely centered so in Photoshop I'm just gonna slide this graphic up a little bit above the center point uh, vertically and then finally I don't want this to be white uh, because that'll end up mixing the two colors I want this to be solid red I'm just gonna use the first color uh, in the material so a uh, real easy way of doing this is just to go to the layer and I'm double clicking on the right side of that to bring up our layer style options and here I'm just gonna do color overlay and of course select uh, solid red so it's uh, 255 for red 00 for green and blue and basically this will now overlay solid red uh, everywhere that that uh, logo exists and so that's it that's for the graphic and so I can go ahead and go to export quick export PNG and I'll just call that Drexel logo and save that. Yeah, I did this before when I was practicing. And then back over to Unreal. And I'll just click the Add button while I'm here in my graphics folder. And I'll import into this game. And I'll choose that new PNG file I saved out. And it might look a little wonky, but uh, this is actually what we want. I uh, can double click on it to take a look, and now it looks nice. Let's go ahead and save that so we get rid of our asterisk. And finally, we just want this uh, Drexel logo to be the graphic in the material. So back in the material, 
I'll just go here and hit this drop down for the graphic, type in Drexel to filter our list to that, and there we are, Drexel logo. And again, because my first color is chosen as yellow, it's uh, coming through in that yellow color. I'll go ahead and save and back to my MetaHuman. And I've got a custom t-shirt logo. And that is all there is to it. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.